Hi, I'm Tyler Fultz. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry. From engineering to operations to emergency response to capital projects. I don't claim to know everything there is to know nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you like this video, please give me a like down below and go and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. If you didn't like this video, please let me know down in the comments as to what I can do better. I'm always looking to improve. Today we're going to be looking at a clue from the Hulk from 2003. And this is a scene where Bruce Banner gets exposed to gamma radiation. He's doing some type of test and it inadvertently goes horribly wrong. But first off, what is gamma radiation? High energy light that comes from certain radioisotopes. It's a form of ionizing radiation, which means it has the potential to damage cells in the body. It can be very hazardous, especially at high energies. I have a guy doing electrical work. Uh, he probably should have worn safety gloves. Appears to be stuck in some sort of particle accelerator. Not sure what the mask is for. Maybe there's some gases about to be released here. It ain't gonna do anything against radiation, I'll tell you that much. So evidently, one short leaves the device going completely haywire. Yeah, this is not a safe device. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with him. Okay, getting front in front of gammas will not protect him. <laughs> okay, that was weird. All right, let's see what was wrong with that. First off, gammas are not green. They don't have any green glow or cause any little green <laughs> mushroom clouds to show up in your eyes after you get exposed to them. <laughs> so I have a graph here with the four common types of radiation, including gamma radiation. First, we'll talk about alpha and betas. Those are very low energy, typically, at least just coming from a typical radioisotope. And something as thin as a strip of aluminum foil can stop both alphas and betas. That being said, you do not want to eat anything that is an alpha or beta emitter because it has the potential to cause a lot of damage to cells inside your body. Actually, more than gammas, because alphas and betas can impart a lot of energy at a very close range. But on to gammas. So they go through paper, through aluminum, and you need a lot of lead. Specifically a, on the order of several feet of lead between you and the gamma to absorb all of it. So this high energy gamma testing the guy that Bruce Banner got in front of got just as much gammas as he did. So, I guess we're going to end up with two hulks in reality. Not really. Gammas are not going to mutate you. Um, what they will do is lead to an increased risk of cancer if it's a relatively small dose. But if you get an acute dose of gammas, though, the reality is much worse. You would end up bleeding from the inside out at a very high dose of gammas. And looking at this particle accelerator, both Bruce and his buddy got a very high dose of gammas. So if this movie was realistic, they would both die horribly of radiation poisoning. 
and on the bed at the bottom there uh, talks about neutrons. Neutrons, which are used in nuclear reactors to cause fissions to uh, ultimately produce electricity. Um, you need water, concrete, hydrogenous material, um, water molecules is what slows them down and absorbs the neutrons. Let's check in on Bruce. Not sure how much time has passed. Um, it would, depending on how much dose it was, he would die over the course of several hours. So the gammas made him stronger. This is the closest thing in reality to what he's experienced. And this is a theory um, called the radiation hormesis model. Um, so there are three models. One is the linear non-threshold, just more radiation, more increased risk of cancer. And there's the threshold model, which radiation has no impact on cancer risk up until a certain point, and then it increases um, your risk of cancer. The hormesis model says a little bit of radiation is actually good for you and lowers your cancer risk, but too much, and then it ends up getting a whole lot worse. This theory is not at all how... <laughs> the Nuclear Regulatory Commission operates or nuclear power plants are designed for. It's all about limiting as much dose. There's an acronym ALARA, which stands for as low as reasonably achievable. So all efforts are about lowering dose and radiation. But it's not going to give you superpowers or turn you into the Hulk or heal he mentioned a long-standing um, knee injury. No, no, no. It's not some type of magic. Um, I've always wondered why Hulk went with gamma radiation to begin with. Gamma radiation is the most common type of radiation in the universe. So its effects on people are well documented with studies on, say, the um, individuals after the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. People have found their ways to get high doses of gamma in experiments before. Um, they should have went with something more exotic. Um, they could have used some radiation that is purely fictional, that no one's never heard of for the purpose of the movie or maybe some type of mutagenic drug that was designed to increase your strength and they made it go too far. But not gamma radiation, a well-known and documented source. So, yeah, this, this clip was entirely fantasy. Oh, and the moral of the story is, if that um, one guy would have worn uh, safety gloves and um, not shocked himself, this whole plot could have been avoided. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.